good morning, good morning. You know what I'm saying? I hope everybody doing good. Real easy. easy. Um shit. I'm let's just let's let's get into it. Let's talk about is the NBA one big facade? Is all of this shit sort of kind of like a Christopher Columbus situation? Let's just keep it a hundred. Let's keep it a buck. So Dennis Schroeder comes out and says that there was never that there was never a contract offered to him. Um, can somebody please help me understand like what's going on here? There were multiple media reports from credible media outlet and sources, outlets and sources stating that Dennis Schroeder turned down a four-year, $84 million deal. Now, I was thinking about that, and I'm like, man, he must be super crazy or dumb. Why would you do that seeking a $100 million? Like, you know what I'm saying? $84 million is enough, bro, to feed your family. This is not Latrell Sprewell's situation. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Because back then, we know that the economy was a little bit more... Um, the economy was different back then when Sprewell got offered that $16 million or whatever he got offered. You know what I'm saying? He said that was not enough to feed his family. I'm like, well, nigga, if you're trying to feed every family in the world, then, yeah, that's probably not enough. You know what I'm saying? But, nonetheless... That's what he said. That's how he felt. You feel what I'm saying? And that's just the magnitude of the situation. But why would you turn down $84 million? See, and I always was thinking, like, something ain't right about this situation. Why would you turn down $84 million for $5.9 million on a one-year deal when you could have been solidified for four years, $84 million, $20-some million a year? You feel what I'm saying? That's $21 million a year, bro. Like, you feel me? $21 million a year, and you turned down $84 million for $5.9 million? And you didn't even finish that season on that team that offered you that one-year minimum contract? Like, so it, it don't even make no sense, bro. A lot of this shit don't make no sense. See, that's why I say don't listen to the media. It's all lies and propaganda and agenda pushing. That's all they do. They come out with all these fake reports. They get people to run with a narrative, believe certain shit. Now we arguing over lies on the internet. <laughs> like, come on, like, what we talking about? Like, you know, I, I just believe I want niggas to really just think for themselves, bro. In, in certain situations, like, you know what I'm saying? I just want motherfuckers to think for themselves. Because that makes no sense, bro. You know what I'm saying? So if there was a contract never offered, now he re-signs with the Lakers after he, you know what I'm saying, finishes season out with um, Houston after being traded from Boston. So now he's back with the Lakers on an even lesser deal than he had last year with Boston. And he's supposed to help you win a championship on a two point on a two point four or two point nine whatever contract. Come on, bro. But how invested is he gonna be in a season? Because we see how invested they are in him. So I guess at this point he just wants to play basketball. And why not play in LA? You know what I'm saying? Hollywood. You feel me? So why why not go over there? You know what I'm saying? So it, it looks like this shit is going to get worse before it gets better for the Lakers. I know that there are bright spots for Anthony Davis. I mean, I've seen him, you know what I'm saying, against the Warriors where he played exceptionally well. You know what I'm saying? He still looked a little slow to me. But I guess, you know what I'm saying, with time, he'll play his way into shape. Because I guess he really hasn't picked up a basketball since day. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean... It is what it is. He'll play his way into shape. But I just think that, and now, you know, Darvin Ham, um, 
is talking about playing him at center, a position that Anthony Davis did not want to play because he stated that man is, is physical and you know what I'm saying? And, and he wanted to be able to roam around on that perimeter and play, you know what I'm saying, on that perimeter as far as like a stretch big or whatever because he don't want to bang. But I could see that his defense, even though he did have a block or two, there were still moments where people challenged him at the rim, like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think his defense is going to be as great as everybody is uh, hoping that it would be, that it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? From what I'm seeing, I'm just seeing his lateral movement when he's switching out on guards. He just looks a tad bit slow. And that's expected with his body type and just the way he moves. He's not young anymore. You know what I'm saying? So he will look a little slow as far as his foot movement and foot speed. So, but if he can consistently, you know, attack that rim um, on offensive rebounds and lobs and, and, and shoot that outside jump shot uh, with efficiency, then, you know what I'm saying, he's going to be very, very key um, if the Lakers want to have any kind of success at a postseason run. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, we're going to see how that's going to play out. We're going to see how that's going to play out. But um, that's what it is, man. The media spews all of these false narratives out here. And we run with the shit. Just like when Kendra Andrews said that Steph Curry said, whip that trick. It's just like, what are we talking about? What are we trying to do here? Like, this is... That's why it's called an NBA reality TV, bro. Walt Disney. Like, you know what I'm saying? This shit is super fabricated. We be thinking that motherfuckers really be greater than what they are because of what these motherfuckers say on TV. And then they'll throw a, a number up on the screen. Oh, this percentage that, this percentage this, this percentage this. I'm like, okay, what does that mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? A motherfucker try to, motherfucker try to argue with me on what a pure shooter is. Like, nigga, you can't argue with me with shit that I... I've been doing my whole life, nigga. <laughs> and, and I've been studying my whole life, bro. This ain't no just come on here and just talk just to be talking, nigga. I don't talk to talk, bro. Period. It's substance to the shit that I say. So, niggas need to understand that. I know what the fuck I be talking about. You know what I'm saying? Not always right on everything. I can admit that. Like, and there's a lot of people who do not admit when they're wrong with our shit. But it's okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm human. It's okay to be wrong. Like, niggas be having this God complex, think they perfect, it's okay, you know what I'm saying, to misquote sometimes, or whatever, whatever, you feel me? Just stand on your shit, own it, that's all I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? That's what a real motherfucker do, a, a real one, <laughs> a real one gonna own his shit, bro, period. So, we need to understand that. The media has one job, you know what I'm saying? To sell a story. That's it. That's it. That's their only one job, bro, is to sell a story. So before y'all just come out here and be like, oh man, he said this, he said this, he said this, it must be true. She said this, he said, he said, she said. Oh, it must be true. You know what I'm saying? If they said it, shit. Oh, that's incredible. They've been working for that motherfucker for 50 some years. he be working for that column, writing shit. I'm like, okay. Come on, man. We already know. We already know how this gang go. You know what I'm saying? We already know how this gang go. They will not put no real one on television to talk nothing sports. You know what I'm saying? Not a real one. I'm talking about just a real one. But a motherfucker who come up there and, and, and try to, you know what I'm saying, and sell you a dream, oh, yeah, they them the type of motherfuckers they want. You know what I'm saying? Because it causes drama, and we know that drama equals money. Drama equals views. You know what I'm saying? Drama equals excitement. It equals, um, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it equals the, uh, what am I trying to say? The suspense. You know what I'm saying? The expectation. The unknown. And everybody loves the unknown. You know what I'm saying? So a motherfucker is going to follow that. You feel what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. But it, it makes no sense, the situation with Dennis Schroeder. And I, I, I figure some will come out sooner or later. 
I figured that that shit was all twisted up, and it was somebody was lying, because, nigga, ain't nobody pulling no motherfucking, ain't nobody turning down no 84 million, bro, for 5.9 million, and they always say all money ain't good money, but check this out, I'm in LA, bro, it ain't no way I'm going to Boston, I would rather live in LA, have my family in LA, than rather than have my family in Boston, <laughs> That's just what it is. Let's just keep that a buck. You know what I'm talking about? So, that makes no sense. But, nonetheless, I mean, fast forward, we're here. You know what I'm saying? The Lakers are gearing up, um, you know, in a week to take on the Golden State Warriors again. But this time it's opening night, and this actually goes in the record books. This, this game actually counts for something. Um, and we're going to see, you know, how it plays out. We're going to see how it plays out, though, but, um, you know, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's really about the algorithms, because I'm pretty sure the people who subscribe are, you know, subscribe. You feel me? But it's, it's really all about, you know, the algorithms online. That's all it's about. The algorithms and shit don't feel like, you know what I'm saying, motherfucking shit is worthy of, of being out there because it's too influential. And it's going against the system, then it's not gonna get out. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's how it is. And I can accept that. That's, I mean, that's fine with me. You feel me? Because I know my real ones who rock me. You know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's all love in that aspect. So uh, I appreciate everybody. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you love, live life, and smile, cry, and laugh, man. Real talk. And then. <laughs> I, I'm going to have another video on what a pure shooter was. You know what I'm saying? Since some of my guys, you know what I'm saying, who I support heavily and who got fire, content, great channels, you know what I'm saying? We had went back and forth on what a pure shooter was because we were talking about, you know, the clip show and, and the Warriors. And we were kind of like, um, you know, lining up pure shooter for pure shooter. So... I'm going to come back with another video on what a pure shooter is. And we can sort of kind of unpack that and, you know, compare and contrast and see, um, you know, what a pure shooter actually is, you know what I'm saying, versus what the stats and the numbers say. So, you know what I'm saying? Salute to my people, man. You know what I'm talking about? It's all good. Appreciate you.